Hi, my name is Patricia Sampson, and I'm the manager of retail shops and visual merchandising here at the High Museum of Art. I'd like to thank you for joining me today as I take over the High's Instagram story. Q&A, ask me anything. Thank you for sending in your questions, and I hope I have all your answers. I have to say, um, my favorite work of art here at the High Museum is the Rothko number 73. It's nice and warm and moody. I love that it's contemporary, but you know, it can be traditional. I would love to have it in my home, but I don't think that's gonna happen. Um, however, I do have a postcard of a Rothko that I framed, and I do have one in my home, but um, I definitely have to say the Rothko, Rothko number 73, which is up in our contemporary art gallery, is my favorite. Some of my favorite products that I really like in the museum shop are the products we develop for, from our permanent collection or products that brand the museum. Uh, we just got in this great beanie uh, that we put together for the holiday and for winter. Uh, so uh, it's just those item, types of items that you get to see the whole process from start to finish. You have an idea and a conception of what you want the outcome to be and you go through that entire process and see the finished product. Um, in the shop and hopefully it sells. Selecting merchandise for the museum shop is one of the fun jobs um, here at the High Museum. Uh, we consider several key things. First and foremost, does it fit the mission and uh, represent our permanent collection? If we're shopping for a special exhibition, we usually uh, try to find items that relate to uh, the artist or the location of where the art is coming from, that region. Um, and also we, also, we look at um, items that may have good design. Maybe it's uh, cutting edge materials. I can remember when vegan uh, handbags came out and uh, we carried a line that uh, was new and they offered vegan handbags and they were great sellers for us. So sometimes it depends on, uh, you know, if it's an item that um, is new uh, and cutting edge or it works back to an exhibition we may be having and most importantly that it fits with the permanent collection and the mission of the museum. We have had open calls for uh, new artists and products in our museum shop. Uh, we've done that online through Wufu. Last year we had a holiday market that uh, we did an open call for. The best way to um, uh, submit your products is to give us an email. You can email me at patricia.sampson at high.org or you can email sylvia.roberts at high.org and we'll get back to you if your product is a good fit for us. Someone asked about the holiday market. Well, don't fret, we will be having a holiday market this year starting November 23rd and it runs through November 29th. We're doing something totally different. We are going virtual. We'll have daily Meet the Maker uh, where you get a behind the scene look at the wonderful creatives who will be participating in our holiday market. And on Saturday, November 28th and, 20, and Sunday, November 29th, we'll have a virtual live market uh, where I'll be talking to our artists and seeing some of their new creations. So I hope that you can join us. Just go to www.hi.org and register to be a part of our virtual holiday market. So this is a good question. What catches my eye when shopping for product uh, in, for the museum shop? 
Uh, I like contemporary modern uh, design, so I'm always drawn to those things that have clean lines. Uh, also, I like uh, just some of the traditional basic items that you see in a museum, whether it's developing a product for a pencil uh, from our permanent collection, um, rich colors, warm colors, those always seem to grab my attention when out shopping in the market. Again, thank you for these great questions. Um, we are, um, I can't tell you if we're going to have any exhibitions by Egon Shield. He's a great artist and was a good uh, protege of Klimt's, I know. Um, if we are going to have an exhibition um, on his work, then um, I think our European art cu curator would know that answer, but unfortunately I don't, but hopefully we will, you never know. The experience that best prepared me for um, doing my job here at the High Museum, I would say was my experience in department store retail. I worked as a retail manager for a company and had the opportunity to be surrounded by a great group of visual merchandisers. Of course, uh, in a department store, visual merchandising is its own department and they have their own team to do that. Um, during my time in the department stores, I was able to um, learn so much and just kind of soak up everything about merchandising. Um, and also I do have degree in fashion design and merchandising as well. So that was uh, pivotal in helping me to prepare for what I do today. I not only have one book that I like to sell here in the museum shop, I actually have two. The first is The Orly Explosion and the second, The Road to Freedom. Both of these books speak to the rich history of Atlanta and the Art Center. They are my favorite and I really enjoy talking to our visitors about the, the book uh, content and the history of the museum. Our children's book assortment actually has grown over the last years as a result of our family and children's exhibitions. We've had some amazing artists uh, on exhibit here at the museum from Eric Call to Jerry Pinckney to Ashley Bryan and Mara Coleman, just to name a few. We just recently closed our Picture to Dream, uh, the Civil Rights Movement Told Through Children's Book Exhibition. And so those exhibitions have greatly helped us to increase our assortment and give our visitors a better selection of children's books. Wow, you can visit us at www.hi.org to purchase any of our beautiful items here in the shop and as well as give us a phone call. Uh, and lastly, but not least, you can come and come down to the museum and visit us. Uh, admission is free if you're just coming to the shop. Wow, I thank you for your question of what determines the price of art. Um, unfortunately, I cannot speak to that because um, that's more of a question for our art dealer or art seller. Uh, I know you asked about the uh, price of prints, but again, prints are often done on a better quality of paper as opposed to a poster. Uh, you get off archival paper uh, to print and it gives that the ability to last long. It helps to um, ward against uh, fading and sun damage with your print. And that's probably why prints cost a little more and are more expensive. Wow, our time is up. I'd like to thank you for sending in all of your great questions. Um, I hope to see you here at the High. Visit us at the museum shop in person or online www.hi.org. Take care now.